There are now over a thousand pickaxes in Fortnite, and even though a lot of these are quite cheap, there are still some pickaxes that are going to cost you over $1,000. So in today's video, guys, I thought we would look at the 25 best and cheapest pickaxes you can use in Chapter 4 of Fortnite. This list is going to include some free pickaxes as well, so make sure you guys watch all the way through to see what the number one position is, and make sure to go down and hit the like and subscribe button if you own at least five of these pickaxes. Let's get started off though, guys, and we have Gohan's Beast Blade. This is a brand new pickaxe that was literally just added to the game a few weeks ago. It is obviously part of the latest Dragon Ball Super crossover, and you can buy this pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks. What I like about this is how detailed this pickaxe is. It has a really creative design to it as well, with the sort of electricity always flying around this pickaxe. Obviously, it's not going to be one of the sweatiest pickaxes in the game, but I think this is really, really sick and definitely deserves to be more popular in Fortnite right now. But moving forward, guys, we need to talk about the Champion Balasong pickaxe that was introduced during Chapter 3. The Champion Balasong was the FNCS exclusive pickaxe added to the game in Chapter 3 Season 4, and this is never going to return to the game. For only 500 V-Bucks, I think this is definitely worth buying, and a lot of sweats absolutely love this because of how small this pickaxe is. A lot of sweats do prefer to use the smaller pickaxes in Fortnite, and this is definitely one of them. Moving on though, guys, we have the Code Cutter. The Code Cutter is one of the most highly customizable pickaxes that we have seen in Fortnite over the last few seasons. You can customize this pickaxe in a lot of different ways, and this pickaxe is actually added with the same set that introduced the glitch skin to the game. There are a lot of amazing styles for this. You can change around the colors really, really well, and it is going to fit in with all of your favorite skins, depending on how well you design it. I think that is really cool, but again, we don't really see too many people using these highly customizable pickaxes in Fortnite. We do end up seeing a lot of people using the gold digger though, and this is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe that has been in the game since chapter one. We don't see a lot of people using this today because there are so many other golden themed pickaxes in Fortnite, but the gold digger was definitely one of the first in the game. And I feel like that is why it has been so popular in the past. If you guys have missed out on buying some of the other golden themed pickaxes in Fortnite, then this is definitely something I recommend you guys picking up. It is going to come back to the store about once every month as well, but something that won't be returning for a really long time is the old chopper. This is actually a Winterfest pickaxe. It only gets added to the game around Christmas. So if you guys don't already own this, then you are going to have to wait around 10 months in order to get it. This pickaxe would have to be one of my favorites. You can pick it up for only 500 V-Bucks. It has such an amazing design and would definitely be one of the most underrated pickaxes in the game today. I don't remember the last time I saw someone using this pickaxe. So if you guys really do want to stand out a lot, I highly recommend picking up the old shopper the next time it's in the store. Another pickaxe that you can buy for only 500 V-Bucks though is going to be the Gladius of Potassius pickaxe. This has definitely been known as a sweaty pickaxe in Fortnite, but I feel like it is also known as a big meme pickaxe as well. Mostly because of the name of this, I still think the design is really, really clean though, and it is going to work with all of your favorite skins, regardless of if they are sweaty skins or big meme skins. This is first added to the game in chapter two, and as I said earlier, you can pick this up for 500 V-Bucks, definitely making it one of the cheapest ones on this list. Another one of my personal favorite pickaxes though would have to be Ray's Quarterstaff. This is actually one of the first ever Star Wars pickaxes that was added to the game. And now that we do have a bunch of different Star Wars pickaxes in Fortnite, I think Ray's Quarterstaff would be one of my favorites. The design is really simplistic. It's going to work well with all of your favorite skins and can definitely be a sweaty pickaxe as well. We just don't really see too many sweats using crossover pickaxes. So I feel like Ray's Quarterstaff is really underrated right now. But if you guys are a Star Wars fan, then I feel like this is definitely something you guys are going to absolutely love. One Star Wars pickaxe that is just slightly better though would have to be the Electro Staff. This has a very similar design to the Ray's Quarter Staff. It basically has the exact same color theme to it. And even though this is a little bit disappointing for a Star Wars pickaxe, I still feel like as an overall Fortnite pickaxe, the design of this is pretty good. This is also cheaper coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. And even though a lot of us probably prefer to have the lightsaber pickaxes in Fortnite, I think the Electro Staff is quite good considering how cheap it is as well. But if 500 V-Bucks is too expensive for you, then you probably
definitely want to use a free pickaxe and one of the best ones would have to be the throwback axe. This was a free pickaxe that was available during chapter 1 as the default pickaxe in Fortnite but it was also introduced to the store in chapter 2 for free which was really really cool. I never expected this to be popular or try hard considering this was the default pickaxe during chapter 1 but it actually became one of the sweatiest pickaxes in the game and we still see a bunch of sweats using it today. Another pickaxe that we first saw during chapter 1 though would have to be Vision. The Vision pickaxe is definitely one of the biggest meme pickaxes that we have seen. It obviously is a little bit of a try hard pickaxe as well just because of the color style to this but because of the big glowing eyeball right in the middle of this I feel like that makes it a big meme pickaxe. What I love about this pickaxe though is that we still see people buying this and using it in chapter 4 and considering this is added back during chapter 1 that just shows you guys how well this pickaxe was designed. One pickaxe that I feel like deserves to be more popular today though would have to be Catwoman's Grappling Claw. This is just one of my personal favorite pickaxes. I am a massive fan of using crossover items in Fortnite and Catwoman's Grappling Claw definitely has to be one of the best DC pickaxes we have seen in a long time. It just has such a unique design. We don't really see too many people using it anymore today as well. So if you guys do want to stand out in Fortnite, then this is definitely something I think you guys need to use. Let's move forward though, guys. And next up, we have the Studded Axe. This is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite. It is one of the quietest pickaxes in the game as well, which is the main reason why this has been so tryhard in the past. A lot of people do prefer to use the more simplistic design pickaxes, but the Studded Axe really took this to a whole nother level by being one of the quietest pickaxes in the game. I mean, you can barely hear this pickaxe when people are using it, which is so, so insane. And I feel like we do need more pickaxes like this. Let's move on to a much more unique pickaxe, guys. And this is the Kamasenen Staff. We don't really have too many anime style pickaxes in Fortnite, but the Kamasen and Staff would be one of my favorites. You can buy this for 800 V-Bucks as well, so it is the same price as the Gohan's Beast Blade that we talked about earlier on this list, but I feel like this just has a little bit better of a design. It just looks so unique and is going to definitely make you guys stand out a lot because there really won't be too many other people using this pickaxe. Another really good pickaxe to make you guys stand out a lot is the Scully Scepter. This is basically a bone version of the Star wand and we all know how good the star wand is so the fact that we have a brand new style for this just makes it even better this is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list you can of course buy this for 500 v bucks as well so it is quite cheap for a pickaxe this well designed but i feel like not too many people are using it because they still prefer to use the original star wand next up though we need to talk about the reaper pickaxe and this is definitely one pickaxe that has dropped off over the last few seasons this is one of the most try hard and sweaty pickaxes pickaxes we had ever seen. I cannot tell you guys how sweaty this was, especially during the early seasons of Fortnite. And there was a point in Fortnite as well where this was the sweatiest and the rarest pickaxe as well. Fortnite obviously decided to bring this back to the item shop though and sort of removed how rare this pickaxe was, which I feel like also decreased how sweaty this pickaxe was. We don't see too many people using it anymore. I feel like a brand new style for this would definitely change that though. So hopefully Fortnite does add a new style this season. You can of course buy this for 800 V-Bucks as well, which is really, really good. But if you do want a pickaxe that is even cheaper than the Red Hot Revenge is a really good option. This is a lava style of the original Raiders Revenge. And obviously, since you cannot get the Raiders Revenge anymore because it was a season one seasonal shop exclusive, the Red Hot Revenge is a really good alternative. It just looks so, so clean. It is one of my favorite pickaxes in the game as well. And you can pick this up for only 500 V-Bucks. Another 500 V-Buck pickaxe that I'm sure you guys already own is the driver. The driver has been in Fortnite since chapter one. It is one of the most well-known pickaxes in the history of the game. So many people have been using this since it was first added and it is still one of the best designed pickaxes I think we have in the game today. Obviously with a price of only 500 V-Bucks it is always going to be really really popular and I hope we do get some more styles for this in the future. One pickaxe that I think is just slightly better though would have to be the gaffy stick. Now this is a lot less popular Hardly anyone actually is using this today, which I feel like is so, so strange because this pickaxe is so well designed. This came to the game with the Boba Fett crossover that we had during chapter three. Obviously, this is another Star Wars pickaxe that we are talking about on this list, but I promise you guys, this is one of the best design pickaxes in the game. You can pick this up for 800 V-Bucks as well. And even though there are some other cheaper pickaxes on this list, I feel like the Gaffy Stick is definitely worth buying. Let's move forward though to a pickaxe that is definitely one of the sweatiest on the list and that is the Merry Mint. Now, obviously the Merry Mint wasn't an item shop
Shop pickaxe, so it didn't really have a set price. Some people were able to buy this pickaxe for only $5, and some people ended up spending over $20 in order to get this. I still feel like it is worth mentioning on this list, though, because there were definitely people that got this pickaxe extremely cheap, and it is one of the best designed pickaxes in Fortnite today. The only thing that would make this pickaxe better, though, is if it was a free pickaxe, and obviously, you could get the crowbar for free during Chapter 1. This was added to the game with the highest game mode that was available during Chapter 1 Season 5, and and all you had to do in order to get this pickaxe for free was basically complete some challenges in this heist game mode. I'm so upset at myself that I never did this. I feel like I would be using this pickaxe so much today if I had have done these challenges. It is definitely one of the sweatiest and best designed pickaxes we have in the game right now, but obviously it is only going to get more and more rare as this is never going to return to the game. Something that will return quite often though is the icebreaker, and it seems like this pickaxe actually returns to the game every two weeks. It is one of my favorite pickaxes of all time though. I think the design of this is just so, so good. And it is one of the most popular pickaxes in Fortnite for a reason. You can buy this for only 500 V-Bucks, making it one of the cheapest pickaxes on this list. And that only makes this pickaxe better. Obviously though, if you guys do own the Axe of Champions, then you probably are going to be using that pickaxe a lot more. Now this is technically a free pickaxe in Fortnite. All you have to do in order to get this pickaxe for free is be one of the best best players in the world, but there's only about 30 people in the world that actually own this at one time. Fortnite almost pay you to have this pickaxe as well, because if you do end up winning the FNCS tournament, not only will you win a few thousand dollars from Fortnite, but you also get this pickaxe for free, which is really, really sick. So I guess Fortnite actually pay you to have this pickaxe. I wish that happened with more pickaxes in Fortnite, but unfortunately the Star Wand is going to cost you 800 V-Bucks. This has been one of the most popular pickaxes in the history history of the game though. The Star Wand is just so well designed and even though this was a chapter one item, we still see a bunch of people using it today. I don't think that is going to change anytime soon though. This is always going to be known as one of the sweatiest pickaxes in the game and I feel like the same can also be said for the Gold Crow. The Gold Crow was actually added to the game with the Shadow Pickaxe Bundle. Even though we have an 800 V-Buck price limit for this video, the Gold Crow is going to set you back a little bit more at 1,200 V-Buck. What is really interesting about this though is that in the shadow pickaxe bundle you actually got three different pickaxes So I feel like it is definitely justified to be coming in at the number two position It is also one of my favorite pickaxes of all time The design of this is just so so clean and it is going to match all of your favorite skins But finally guys coming in at the number one position the best cheap pickaxe that you guys can buy today is the Harley Hitter This is going to set you back 800 V bucks. It is by far one of the best best design pickaxes we have ever seen, and I don't know if we are ever going to see a pickaxe that people love even more than this. It is just so, so clean. I love the way this looks, and I feel like this deserves to be a lot more popular in Fortnite today. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about the 25 sweatiest and cheapest pickaxes that you can get in Fortnite right now. I hope you guys did enjoy this list. Make sure to let me know what your favorite pickaxe is in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.